student developer here, and today we're going to be learning how to apply an array of bytes to a dynamic address. And the game of choice is Call of Duty Mobile, and we're going to be finding anti-recoil. And this video is for educational purposes only, so I take no responsibility for any unethical decisions you decide to take with the knowledge you learned today. With that being said, let's get into it. See, let's log in here. Uh, we're gonna log in there. While that loads, let's go ahead and attach. Oh, we're we're using. I forgot to specify this. We're using an emulator, and I thought um if I use an emulator, this would be the perfect example. Since uh, emulators do not use pointers, you cannot do a pointer scan using an emulator. You have to do an array of bytes. So um, I'm going to go ahead and attach G Engine to the game. So it uh, just give me a quick second. Oops, didn't mean to pull that up. Uh, bring up my programming calculator here. I'm going to go ahead and close this. Going to open up Process Hacker. Give me a quick second. Open up this here. And now, this isn't a isn't a tutorial on how to uh, bypass, you know, an anti cheat. I just want to make that clear. Um. So yeah, I don't I don't want you to think oh he's trying to. Uh, this isn't that's that's not what this video is about. Let's see, forty two seven sixty four. Okay. Okay. So we're looking for the hex value eight seven. Okay. Mm. Okay, hold on, let me pull this back up. A770C. A70C is here. Okay. Sorry if that took a little minute to set up. Sorry about that. So in order for us to find anti-recoil, we need to uh first find our weapon value or our weapon address. Hold on, let's skip past this. So I'm just getting through this prelude here. I ain't gotta do it later. Okay. Feel free to fast forward if you don't wanna see me go through all this. I'm sorry for that. Okay, now we're gonna search for our ammo address. And this game it is stored, I do believe it is stored as a four byte. Um, so we're going to go ahead and search for our ammo, which is 30. Going to shoot a little bit, narrow it down. 21. Go to one. And we have two addresses here. Let's see. Let's shoot. Okay. So let's grab both of these addresses. Oh, by the way, the addresses here is, uh, these are dynamic. And, uh, which means when we start the game, they're, they're going to change. So, um, uh, that's why we're going to do an array of bytes to, these two, or one of these addresses here, whichever one uh, allows our ammo to be static. So let's go ahead and test that here. And that's the first one. So let's go ahead and get rid of the second one. Uh, delete this. And we're gonna browse the, uh, hold on. We're gonna browse the memory region. Let me reload real quick. So we have the ammo, but we want to, uh, keep the value of anti-recoil. So here, we're gonna keep it in hex, but I'm, I'm gonna show you for individuals who are not experienced with uh, the memory viewer and cheat engine, that this first value here is indeed our ammo. So I'm gonna show you this in four byte, uh, decimal, <coughs> four byte decimal. And as you can see here, um, 
that is our ammo. So if I shoot, it changes. But our ammo is frozen at um, zero. Here is frozen, so that's why you didn't see it decrease. So I'm gonna change it back to hex viewer here. So now we're, we're looking for a value that increases and then decreases back to zero. So scroll up here and let's shoot. Okay, let me try. So the value, I'm, I'm looking at a couple values here. There's these four here that increases and decreases back down to zero. Let's scroll up a little bit here. That's M. Okay, nothing up there. So what we're looking for is most likely here. No, it's, it's down here, I remember. Okay, so it's one of these. Cause see, as you can see, when we shoot, it goes back down to zero. So let's add, oops, let's add these uh, addresses to our address list. <clears throat> and let's minimize this for now and let's freeze, let me, Move over here. So as you can see, when we shoot, our gun increases uh, vertically. And then when we stop, it decreases. So what we're trying to do is completely remove our recoil, uh, essentially creating anti-recoil. So let's go ahead and freeze these values here. So it's none of those. So we're gonna go back to our 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 memory view our mem our memory viewer, and we're gonna view this review that again so let's go back here so we're gonna grab a couple of these and add them to our address list this video may be a little longer if that's the case, uh, I did not anticipate that, but this is a lengthy process, nevertheless. And I know I just added some addresses that I, I previously removed, but that's okay. Hopefully I don't crash the game by freezing all these values. Okay, so we, we definitely have, one of these addresses are definitely Correct. We just need to figure out which one it is. So let's move those. Okay, so it's one of these here at the top. Not that one. So it's probably this one or that one. Let's see. It's that one here. So name that recoil and get rid of uh, all the other addresses here. And we have our recoil value. So, um, what we're going to do now is browse that memory region and collect an array of bytes. So, this as same with the ammo. This is our our base for our recoil here. So, what we're going to do is grab an array of bytes. An array of bytes is just a group of bytes together. So we're gonna grab the first three. Let's see. We can do the first four. Let's do the first four. Grab the first four. Copy it to clipboard, and we can just use we can use a notepad and just copy it in here. All right. Now let's move. Let's change our values a little bit. Um, what I like to do is unfreeze everything. So that is what I'm going to do is unfreeze my ammo here and then shoot again. Here, reload. Now we're going to copy the bytes again to clipboard and add them 
a second time. And I and I'm gonna move around again and get a third a third row just to be on the safe side. Reload. No. Let's see. Increase here. Okay. And copy and paste our values one last time. Copy the clipboard. And paste it below. So now if you see any addresses that are not the same um vertically, then you're gonna add two question marks. So that is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna scan from right to left. You can go left to right, it doesn't matter your own personal preference, but how I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna go from uh right to left. So that's what we're gonna do. Yeah. Uh, Okay, as you can see, all three values here are different. So we're going to add the two question marks here. Same for this one and the next one because they they all are different values. Values. Oh, this is what we're gonna do here. Make sure everything is correct. Now I want to say that these bytes here may show up like let's say I I may get one result when I restart the game which is which is great but um let's say you was in a server with a group of other players their ammo addresses would show up in the uh byte scan as well that could possibly happen so you may have to you know create a script to filter through which one is yours every time Figured I'd throw that in there. So now what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna change. We're gonna do new scan. We're gonna uh, do change the value type to an array of bytes, and we're gonna copy this here. We're gonna copy this again. Copy and or you know copy and uh, paste it here. So let's do that. Uh oh, why can't I? Try this again. There we go. And we're gonna do our first scan. And we get one value here. And this is obviously our recoil, our anti-recoil. So now, and just to confirm, let's see, let's shoot. As you can see, these values here change when I shoot. So now what we're gonna do is close the game and restart it. We close the game and restart it is uh, because we want to confirm that the array of bytes that we have is indeed the one for our recoil. Or if any values changed, let's say when we restart the game, then, um, uh, you know, something changes, we can uh, refine our ammo recoil, copy the new array of bytes address and paste it into our notepad to see what changed. So that's, that's what we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and close the game. Okay, oops, okay. Let's see here. Open this up here. Okay. And start that, close. And now we just wait till it for it to start up. Okay. Minimize a little bit there. Oops. Boom. I want to go ahead and throw, say this. You know, what I'm showing you is is meant for you to to learn. Uh. It's meant for you to learn how to apply an array of bytes to a dynamic address. I'm not teaching you this to uh, ruin uh, the multiplayer side of this game. This is strictly for educational purposes only. I don't want, you know, you guys do something unethical with the information I'll show you and then it comes back to me. So I uh, figured I'd throw that in there.
Okay. Let's go ahead and read, copy this here. Now there's a good chance that our, our array of bytes will not show up in our uh, scan for, for array of bytes. And if that happens, if that's the case, that's because a value has changed and we have to do a rescan for our ammo and our recoil to see what the change was. And then redo, um, redo an array of bytes. So let's skip through all this again. And I'm doing this in the preload, so I'm not in a multiplayer session. I know some of you guys can be like, well, you could have went into an AI lobby. I just, I just don't want to be anywhere near multiplayer lobby. So let's see here. Now, let's go ahead and rescan our, and uh, rescan our bytes. So I'm pretty sure this is the same. Actually, I have to reattach the game. So that is definitely going to be a process all in itself. So just give me a minute here to, uh, reattach to the game. Uh, okay. Five, two, four, eight. Five, two, four, eight. Sure. And I think, yeah, something changed. Something has definitely changed. I, I can tell. I can certainly tell. I could be wrong, but let me see. Let's see. Yeah, something has changed. Let's do new scan. Oh, nope. It remains the same. So, um, so let's get rid of this. Just to show you guys that this is our same. Hit delete these here. And let's add this value. Add to adjust this here. Now, if we freeze it, let's go over to the game. Let's this. Go over to the game when we shoot. Our recoil is still uh, anti, so it, it's still we still have anti recoil. So that is how you find th this is how you and assign a, a rev bytes to a dynamic address inside of an emulator. So that pretty much concludes this video. Um, if you found anything knowledgeable in this video or you enjoyed it, go ahead and uh, subscribe. Um, I upload frequently, so be sure to subscribe. Uh, nevertheless, this has been Student Developer, and I'm out.